Hi everyone, Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art, and today I'm going to be doing some gel printing. Um, but I wanted to show you first um, this rice paper that I use um, that I um, get on Amazon, and it's relatively inexpensive. You get about 100 sheets per package. That's about 70 bucks. And, but it's got a smooth side and a rough side. Now, um, it's great for practicing your gel printing or even, you know, just doing everyday gel printing. Um, but I found that it works really great with quick pulls, um, nothing where you're letting your paper sit in the paint dry because this will rip. Um, it also doesn't like to be burnished too much, especially if you're using a Baron. Um, that also tends to rip the paper. Um, if you're using it like over a stencil as well, like to pick up. If you push down too hard, it, it can get stuck to the parts of the stencil and then it'll get stuck to the stencil and rip and it's a big mess. Um, I know because I've done it a few times. Um, but I just want to show you how I use it so that it works well and um, doesn't cause you any headaches. Now, first things first though, we're going to, um, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, um, or the reason I'm doing this is because I need some more papers for collage work. Um, but I, I don't have enough that are more, let's say neutral, um, that aren't as busy as a lot of what I have is. And so I thought that um, we could do more, more simple backgrounds um, using some stencils and masks. And um, just like I pulled out some paints and they are in the neutral category. Um, and then we have neutral metallics and I have some, a couple of reds. Um, I have black, white, I have some terracotta. So I just pull out kind of colors that went well together, but aren't like out there in your face. Uh, so today I'm gonna to be using some IMPP stencils from PM Artist Studio. And they are a company based out of Texas. They make stencils from Yupo and they make foam stamps and some other stuff. And they have a great brand new website, pmartiststudio.com. And if you go there after my video and you type in Eddie Fan 10 at the end of your purchase, the end of your order, you'll save 10% off. And that's a purchase of $35 or more. Um, and that again is Eddie Fan 10, all one word. So IMPPs, if you haven't watched my previous videos on these, are imperfectly perfect stencils. And um, so Mariah was kind enough to send me, she's the M and P and M, she was kind enough to send me some um, stencils that didn't make their quality cut. So basically they, you know, if it doesn't come out correctly, even a little bit, it gets put aside into a box labeled IMPP. Um, and so she wanted um, more people to know about them and, and, and what they offer and, and how their products work. So she sent me a few of these to, um, to demonstrate. Um, so this particular one is the string thing. And I want to start with that one. Now, this one is available in small, medium, and large. My gel plate this way, the, um, the long way, or landscape mode, if you will. Um, mainly because I want papers, let me get that off here, that, um, were, were designed some more this way. I don't know. It makes sense in my head, you know, so, but let's get started here. So I'm going to use the swirly thing, the string thing mask. Um, now here's the question. What do we want? What color do we want to start with? I said we start with some black, maybe. Do we go right into black or do we do some reds, some dark reds? I think we'll do some dark red, but I want 
a background of dark red, and then I want to pick up this design in a metallic color on top of the red. So that's what we're going to do. So first, I want to pick out some paint. And for this, I think I'm going to use the Lucas Krill Studio uh, Alizarin Crimson. And uh, maybe a little bit of copper. That's Liquitex. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of the black. So let's get started. You don't need too much paint because this is just going to be a flat, or yeah, just, just a solid background. Um, and we're going to let that dry, but then we'll come back and we'll do a design. We'll, we'll do a print where we'll leave behind the shape of this mask and then we can pick it up with the red one. You think I need a little bit more red. And that's probably too much, but let's just get it out here and then um, I can always take some off. And I'm just trying to get it as even as possible. I see something far in there. Let's get that out of there. Okay. Get a piece of our paper. Uh, I don't think it makes a big difference what side you go down first, put down first, but I'm gonna, I always like to use the, um, the smoother side. Okay, let me smooth it out. And again, we're not leaving this on here to dry. You don't want to do that, or you don't want to burnish it too hard and too long. And we're going to pick up, we'll probably get two backgrounds out of this. So, just one. And let's do a second one. That's a really nice reddish red color. So let's see, we can pick up more here. Fantastic. That is, look at that. I love that color. Okay. All right. Now you see, we're able to get two backgrounds. Okay, so my idea is to um, get this design onto the plate, just the design in gold on the plate. And how do we achieve that? Well, let me rub that off, make sure I don't have any left on there okay um, how we're gonna achieve that is I'm gonna lay down a layer of paint in gold I put the mask on top and then with a piece of blank paper I will pick up everything that's not underneath the mask then we'll lift up the mask and then flip the gel plate on top of this background so we can transfer that design okay sounds more complicated than it is the hardest part is going quickly so the paint doesn't have too long uh, a time sitting on the plate. It doesn't have enough time to dry. Um, so let's just do it. And I want a nice impactful gold. So I'm going to use, this is a gouache uh, opaque gold from Vallejo. It's an acrylic gouache. And then I have a uh, transparent gold from Lucas Krill. I'm going to mix them up and we'll see what we can get. Now, you'll notice I'm going to concentrate my paint in the general area of where I'm going to lay this down, which is basically across the center. And that way, I know I get a nice bit, uh, a nice layer underneath that mask when I pull it up. All right, fingers crossed. Oh, see, there's still red paint on my brayer. 
I need a new brayer. That's what I need. Well, anyway, let's spread that out a little bit. Yeah, it kind of pinked out a little bit, but all right, let's see what we got. So we'll lay down our design or our mask. Come in with some paper. And I'm just gonna smooth that out over the paint and kind of gently go in and around the mask. Pick up as much of that paint as you can. And you'll get a really cool print here, All right? But what we want is what's underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this print underneath. I'm gonna pull off my mask and lay this down. We're gonna get some of that other gold because I didn't pick up enough of that other gold, but you know, such is life. We'll take, we'll take what we can get and we'll move on to the next one, right? Fingers crossed. Okay, this is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And this is what the kind of idea I'm going for. I wish I had taken off more of this gold around here. But what I got going on in the center here, that's what I wanted. Okay, let's try one more, same stencil or mask, and then we'll do, uh, we'll do some different colors. So I'm going to do a terracotta background. This is the Lucas Krill. But it's not just, uh, I can add some other stuff here. Let's add some of this gold. This is the deep gold from Amsterdam. Okay. And again, right now we're just doing the background part and then we'll do the design bit next. And I just want to get a an even even-ish coat. I'm not trying to you know make this blend into one color. Just want to make sure all the corners have paint. Just a second longer. I just want to see if I can get more of that paint up than I did on the first one. Now, mind you, the first one I did with the reddish color had a lot more paint on it. Okay, I think we're good here. Nice. It's a great little background. Okay. And then let's use this one from before to see what we can pick up. to get quite a bit off there. Now this piece, this one may become really fun by the end of this session. It's already looking pretty cool. I have here some oxide, iron oxide black from Lucas Krill. Let's get some of that on. Ooh, that comes out really fast. Okay. I've got to Remember that I just got a bunch of these Lucas paints from um, from Jerry's Artorama. They were having a big sale. Okay. Now, while I'm thinking about it, I have some of this iridescent graphite gray. And I'm gonna add that. That one is uh, Liquitex. that in. This is so much fun. I don't know why, but it is. It's relaxing. Okay. Let's get our mask down. Bingo. And 
come in with a sheet of paper. I'm going slow laying down the paper because I don't want it to wrinkle. That's the only reason. You don't have to be as dramatic as I am. Unless that's your thing, go for it. Okay. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. That's a great black. This is, um, this would be great for spraying. Um, some distress inks or something fun like that. Okay. Set you aside. I'm going to come in with my carnival tissue and pick up some of this extra black. Right now. This is coming up nicely. I don't have room, guys. I need more surfaces. So, let's pick this up, lay down our print for our background, pick it up. Great, look at that. That is fantastic. Great, 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 okay. So I've got some paint left on this here. And what I'm gonna do on the brayer, I'm gonna lay this out, because I don't wanna waste it, the paint. Okay, lay that out. Now, the paint on the back of the mask, that I like to do sometimes, if I have enough time, is go ahead and lay it down on some tissue, on the wet strength tissue, because this doesn't work with the cheapo tissue. You know, you know what I mean. And then I brayer over it and get some of that paint off, and I've got more collage paper. There we go. We can build on that too. All right, so we have this one. I have this one. So much, so many prints already. Okay. We'll do a transparent red. Again, I'm just trying to pick this, pick this up, um, get as much of this black off of here. without having to wipe it all down and, and waste that paint. I've done that before, but I'm trying to be a little more conservative with my paint. Go back with this guy. Now, the wet strength tissue, you can leave on to dry. I've done that before. And, and that will be okay. Don't do that with regular tissue paper. Um, you want to use a wet strength. And this is, um, what I'm using is the carnival tissue. Let's see how much of that we got up. I'm gonna let this dry for a second and then we'll come back and I will um, get it all up. Look at that great crackle. Cool, huh? All right. Now, I, I kind of like that crackle there and I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm gonna just take some of this off here. I'm just rubbing a little bit here. And then we'll 
let's talk about the next color. What? Well, actually, let's pick us uh, some other stencils to use. Um, okay, I made myself a cheat sheet so I can give you the right names. So when you go on the PM Artist Studio website, you know exactly what to look for. Um, I want to use this one first. Now, this one is part of a set. Um, it's the Quilted Crop Circles. Maybe. I think I'm just going to do, for now, the Crop Circle. Um, and then the other ones are called, this is the Sydney Pinwheel. And then this is the Twirly Teardrops on Celestial, celestial Snow Shoes. Thank you for that, Mariah and Brad. I love a good tongue twister. Um, so, um, and these are part of sets. Um, so when you go on the website and you look them up, you'll see that um, you have a couple of different options um, on what you can get. Let's go metallic and we'll go copper. This is the Liquitex copper. And then I also have some of this high fluid um, distress paint from um, Tim Holtz. There's a brash, or brash, tarnished, tarnished, tarnished brass and antique bronze. And I think the antique bronze goes much better um, with that one. So let's put in a little bit of that. it's like I said it's a fluid so it comes out quickly so you gotta you know be careful don't dump it all out um, and what other color don't throw another color in there should we use just some beige or do we just keep it like this how about let's do some bronze in there living dangerously today that was Liquitex uh, bronze. There we go. Now those crackles, those little, those, that design down there that I left behind, that may not come up with the rice paper. Um, I may need to um, do some paint later, a layer of paint and pick it up with uh, the carnival tissue or just a, a uh, stronger piece of paper so that I don't get, uh, so that it actually comes up. Otherwise, I don't think this um, rice paper will pick it up because or that would require leaving the paper on for a long time. <sighs> that. Very, very nice. I'm gonna finish this paint off on here. That left on my brayer. Ooh, we got some of those cracks up. And added another layer on there. It looks really good. So let's again, we'll go with the, the iron oxide black. And this is an opaque. This is the carnival tissue I'm going to use now. When you get to your small little designs in here, you want to pay attention and kind of grab as much as you can through those little openings so you get a better, um, a more detailed um, design left behind when you pick up the mask. 
Okay. And it does come through, so you may want to use a napkin or something. But... Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna need this one to see if we can get more off of here. Get it off your short sticks. Now what I'm doing is just, if I see something that I can probably pick up, I'll just lay it down gently and give it a little rub. Get it up. And look at that. Another good point. background down take off this mask gently lay it down okay. I don't want to push too hard I don't want to disturb the design so just kind of gently smooth it out and let's give us a peek Down just for a few seconds more. Wow. How nice is that? Wow, I love that. So, I think next I want to do a gold background. I think I'm just going to do this gold. For background, it's the Vallejo um, acrylic acrylic gouache. Okay, I have a little of that, and then I have brass. No, let's do. Yeah, why not? We'll do some of this little uh, Amsterdam uh, deep gold. We have our gold background, and what I'm gonna do, get some of this gold paint from here onto here. Why not, right? I don't like to waste. Okay, see, there we go, beautiful. So we have our gold background. Now let me introduce you to our masks. These are the Dragonflies from PM Artist Studios. They're IMPPs. They come in a set though. Um, so when you order them, you'll get a set with eight different pieces. So you have, there's like one of a larger size, there's an even bigger one than this. And then you get also, um, I believe a solid one or two. You get at least one of these the solid mask and then you get, you know, seven of these. So pretty good, uh, pretty good value for your dollar. Um, and then don't forget, use Eddie Fan 10 and you get another 10% off a of purchase. Um, that's at least $35. Okay, so here's the thing. How are we gonna use these on here? Um, I thought maybe we could lay these out and I want to get some red, and I don't, I'm not putting any paint down first because what I want is um, no paint. I want the gold to show through as, as this, you'll see. Um, so I'm going to lay these down first. And keeping in mind, I want to use this for collage paper. 
So I'm trying to space these out so that if I want to, I can just cut one out or cut two um, and not have to ruin the entire um, paper. Smell what I'm stepping in? Okay. We'll lay those two there. And then how about we'll do this the large one. This is the large one I have, but um, I believe there's a bigger one in the set when you when you order them from the website. Okay. And I want to do the crimson. Hey, hey, not your turn, dude. I think we'll use the crimson for this. Let's see here. Get in here, here, get a little here. Can we break it up too? We could do a little, um, hmm. This is a color shift paint and it is, um, what's it called? I don't have my glasses on, black flash. And it shifts from um, black to gold. Okay. Um, but let's mix it in and then uh, we'll see what we get. That's the fun thing about gel plating is, is uh, experimenting. It's very fun. Okay, I'm gonna try and concentrate over the masks because I want to get the details um, as crisp as I can. So I'm not too worried about the edges. I'm more worried about what's going over the stencil. So that way, so that I get some nice good details. Okay, let's spread it out. Yeah. Probably could use a little more paint, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, get in there. Okay. So that created a nice color, a nice cranberry. So here, we have to take these off first. So I'm getting my little spatula here. And you wanna be gentle with these, because as you can see, they're um, it's a delicate design. Now you see what I mean? I was trying to get the paint down to the details. There wasn't enough paint there. But, you know. Now we know for the next time, right? on top of here hopefully this paint is still good meaning it hasn't dried um, but I think we'll get a cool design a cool look because of how that gold is going to show through against the red which we darkened up with some of the black um, color shift paint All right. fingers crossed You know what? It's a lot, came out a lot better than I expected. And you see here, when more paint gets in there, you get a sharper detail as opposed to when you don't have enough paint there. But I think this is a very um, commendable outcome. Let's see. With the... Um, with the dragonflies, but maybe this time we'll just do a straight up print onto the paper instead of to a background. Yeah, we'll just, let's play around. Just want to, um, give these another go. You're not gonna lay flat, are you? That's because there's paint on the other side. All right, so we just have to be careful when we're brayering the paint over. Um, here, we're gonna do some of this gold. Get it, get it, get it.
tank. First, I want to pick it up with this. Pick up anything that's on the plate with this. That's going to leave just the paint left underneath the, um, the masks. Hopefully. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Some really interesting little bits here that can be used. Okay. And then we'll pick that up. And I have another background. You know what? I think I can pick it up. The pick up the dragonfly print on this tissue here. Now mind you, some of the paint in the design was already picked up. So this is just like a, it's a ghost. A ghost print. Hey, that's cool. Great, um, great little bits and pieces on here. There we go. This isn't part of my plan, but we're gonna go with it and see what um, what transpires. So I'm not gonna put too much green on there. Just a little bit, and also. I think that's a, I think that's a good a good start. We'll start. We'll do a background on the rice paper. So this can be a nice springy, summery background. Very nice. And what I like about this is it picked up some of that, the reddish color from earlier and the gold. Um, but it's good because it kind of tones down the, the brightness of the yellow and the, and the green so it looks more natural. Okay. Now for masks, Let's do some birds. How about we do some birds? Or we haven't used, yeah. So these are, there's two different collections here. These are, again, our IMPP. So um, obviously, you know, Mariah's not going to send me a whole brand new set. So she just sends me pieces that didn't work out. So I've got some birds here. And these are from The Birds Volume 1. It is a... Um, There's a small set and a large set, and each set contains six of your um, of the birds here. And then there's another collection um, called Murder of Ravens, and you get these, and um, and I believe again you get a small and a large set. Um, don't quote me on that, but um, there's definitely more than three pieces in the set. Okay, so that's kind of. Let's do it this way here. We're going to go this way. Because remember, um, this is going to be collage paper that I will be, um, you know, using bits and pieces from. All right, already there. And what if we do, do a little birdie this way? This way. Now with this, 
Christmas. I'm gonna do some of this iridescent graphite. Again, don't leave your rice paper down too long, especially when you're using a paint that's got a little, it's transparent, a little stickier, um, because it can, it can stick uh, quickly and then um, rip your paper. So we're just trying to be as careful as possible, trying to get up as much paint as we can. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, well, I knew this would happen eventually. And yeah. I left it on too long, and that's why you don't do that with rice paper, because this is what happens. Unfortunately, so we're going to have to just deal with that right now. You don't cry about it, and you just oops, clean up and then try it again. Okay, let's try this again. I uh, gave my little birds a quick bath, and um, let's redo that background. That was a Naples Yellow. Yes, Naples Yellow 4634 from um, Lucas Krill. And I think I'm going to spread the paint out a little bit more randomly. Dots of green, nothing crazy. Okay. Lay down the paper. Look at our background. of this I'm gonna pick up the extra paint here now I'm not throwing this away I can use this in other stuff too um, so even if you rip something try to keep it because you can always use it let's try this again we're gonna need the we did the gray and the black or the that blue, the Prussian blue. Hmm. Go in my stash, I'm gonna get a different blue. It's also transparent, but I wanna try this uh, primary blue from Amsterdam. And then we'll throw in little bit of this, um, where'd it go? Prussian blue. Keeping in mind that we can't let that paper sit for too long. Without the masks. Okay, here we go. I'm 
And that's the other thing is with rice paper, sometimes you can't do the pull up print when the masks are still down. Sometimes it works and usually it doesn't. So. And we'll flip you over and you can see what it's gonna look like. Get some great color and interesting um, textures in here. And I'm gonna pick this up. Look at that. That's what we're going for. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, and we have this left on here. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll come back and we'll pick it up uh, on some tissue and then. Um, I think that's it for today. Okay, this is dry now. So I'm gonna use the beige Lucas Curl Acrylic. And layer on top of here and pick it up. And I'm not gonna use the rice paper for this. I'm gonna use uh, the hammer mill photo paper pickups like this where you have to leave it for a little bit to dry. Now on this one I will use my Baron because I want to make sure that beige adheres to the dried layer of paint on the plate plus to the paper. Alright. Uh, da, 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 da. That is a good pickup. This may not come all the way. That's okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. There we go. That's very cool. Very grungy. So let's look at what we've done today. This was the uh, carnival tissue. We did a lot of the, I'm picking up extra paint off of. And let me see, we've got some cool markings and then you see the um the gold dragonflies this was another pickup sheet but this one was on a rice paper and when we picked up from the crop circles quilted crop circle one um we got this outside um the black on the outside outlining it in the reverse that's pretty cool. And this is the positive we did on a copperish background. And this was, well, this was the very first one we did. And this was with the, um, this mask here, which is the, um, The String Fang Mask, <laughs> available at pmartiststudio.com. Um, it comes in three different sizes, small, medium, large. And we mixed our own little red here using some alizarin and some black. And then um, we printed that and then we did the um, gold separately for the... Um, for the design and then picked up the design on the gold background there so that's that one and then the other one was the black one that we picked up here so this is the negative of that and like i was saying earlier these are great for um for spraying you spray them from behind and you get some you'll get some cool effects so i'll be able to do that later on another video, um, these were our dragonflies. Not the best, but it's still really good. Still pretty good, I like it. And then our birds. Um, came out pretty good after that one mishap, so. But see, that's the thing with um, anything really is the more you practice, the better you get and you can't, you know, give up because one piece of paper rips it's just paper and the more you experiment 
the better off you're going to be, the more you're going to be confident in, in what you're doing. And then this is the last guy that we picked up on um, the Hammer Mill photo uh, copy paper, color copy paper, sorry. And that's, um, that's our last print. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. And don't forget to check out PM Artist Studio. And they are um, on YouTube as well. And do, they do live streams, live streams three times a week, including a new one with Mariah, um, where she does um, Mariah Makes on Mondays. That's at 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern, so 10 a.m. Central. Um, so really they do four live streams and they're, they're awesome. A lot of fun. Um, and they also have their Facebook group, uh, makers of mixed media art and artists. And, um, that's a great group. Definitely go over there and join them. They're on Instagram. And when you go to their website, as long as you order $35 worth of stuff, you get an extra 10% off when you use my personal code, EddieFan10. That's E-D-D-I-E-F-A-N-1-0. Get that 10% off. And then if you become a member of their Mucky Muck membership, you get an additional 15% off of the RD tools, stencils and stamps, and art. And then uh, if you join the top tier of it's called Loverly. You will get 20% off RD Tools. And with these, in these two um, membership levels, you get exclusive access to new items. Um, and what they'll do is, let's say they release a brand new stencil. Um, and they'll make it exclusive for eight weeks. And for eight weeks, only people who are part of this uh, membership will be able to uh, access that. And then after eight weeks, it becomes um, available to the general public. So... Um, that's definitely a good perk to, um, to check, to check out when you're on the website. All right. Thank you guys so much. I hope you, um, learned something and I hope you try out this rice paper. It's like I said, it's inexpensive. It's great to practice on. It's, uh, you know, it's calligraphy paper and it even says here for practice, uh, you get a hundred sheets in this package and uh, measurements size wise i didn't measure it but um hmm. yeah they don't look for measurements i guess maybe they do but i don't read japanese unfortunately um so let's see here this is about 33 centimeters by 24 centimeters, so that's about uh, 13 and a quarter inch by nine and a half inches. There you go. I'll link, um, I'll put a link to this um, in the description box as well as to the PM Artist Studio uh, website and Facebook page. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you um, also could, please leave me a comment. All of those things are free to do and they help so much and they keep me um, being able to bring you these videos. So thank you very much and uh, talk to you soon.